Hey guys, Chris here for Tuman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to set up wrap around bridges. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars without using too many special tools. Wraparound bridges are one of the oldest and simplest guitar bridge types. They're limited in some ways, but you can adjust them and they work just fine in most situations. We'll also talk about some modern wraparounds that let you adjust the intonation even more. In case you enjoy guitar tech tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. First important thing to know is that you have to loosen the strings before you start adjusting classic wraparound bridges. This is very important because all screws are in the tension. It's especially easy to break these two intonation adjustment screws. Let's start with the string height or string action. Measure how much you want to lower or raise the action at the 12th fret. Since you only have two studs to change the bridge height, stick to the two E strings. You'll have to basically guess how much you have to adjust the bridge. But as a rule of thumb, you could double what you want to change at the 12th fret. So if you want to go half a millimeter lower at the 12th fret, you can adjust the bridge one millimeter lower. You can do a second round, of course, to fine tune if necessary. Just please don't forget to loosen the strings before every adjustment. I'm just over two millimeters on the E6, so I would lower this just a bit. And uh, 1.7 is perfect for the E1. Once you're happy with the string height, you can set up the intonation. Check the two E strings at the 12th fret to see what's going on. This guitar is spot on, but if you have to adjust the intonation, you'll have to use these little screws. Turn it clockwise to make the note go flat at the 12th fret and counterclockwise to make it go sharp. Again, you will have to loosen all the strings before you do this. There are vintage style compensated wrap around bridges too. They work the same way, but make a more precise intonation setup possible. This is a compensated aluminum bridge from ABM. But Gibson and Epiphone also uses compensated bridges on quite a few models. There are guitars that come with a modern wraparound bridge, like this PRS SE245 and the Harley Benton SC Junior. Both of these bridges work the same way. You'll find independent and adjustable saddles on the bridge. The idea is to leave the saddles in the middle at first and adjust the bridge with these two screws. Then you can fine tune the intonation per string with the saddles. There are some great retrofit wraparound bridges too if you want to replace the original bridge on your guitar. You'll find modern wraparound bridges with adjustable saddles from Tone Pros and Schaller and more classic ones from ABM and PRS. Remember to check and compare the dimensions before you buy a bridge. There are, for example, metric and imperial models, so make sure you get the right one for your guitar. I cannot wait any longer to play this guitar, so it's time for a test ride. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. Bam! Mr. Happy! Ow! <laughs> Ow! I don't have any picks here. That's stupid. <laughs> How could this happen? There are Vinista compensated wraparound bridges too. <laughs> you can actually hear the satisfaction. It's like, yeah, I made it through the sentence.